This is a very simple tutorial for how to use Switch to convert a WMA file to a WAV file. Now, the same principle applies for other file types, but that's what I'm going to show you here. Switch is basically just a big empty window. And you first need to find your file that you want to convert. So look in your hard drive, look in your folders, and find that WMA file and drag it into the switch window. So after you've got it in your switch window, there's two settings that you want to change before you convert it. The first one is the output folder. You always want to make sure that you know where you're going to save the file. So tell it where to go. Find a place on your hard drive where you know you want to put it. Maybe you have some audio files and put it there. But I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel this and show you an easier way. If you check this box, it's called output to same folder as source files. Check the box and then you never have to worry about where the file is going to be it'll be in the same folder. The next thing you want to change is the output format. If you want to edit this audio file, for example in Audacity, you should save it in an uncompressed format. A good uncompressed format to use is WAV, W-A-V. So choose WAV from the menu and that'll be the file format that you save this in. And WAV is good for audio that you are going to edit. So now check that you know where you're going to output the file to. Where is it going to go? Check that you know what your output format is. You chose the correct one. And then select the file or files that are in the switch menu. And when that's done, just Convert. Click the button and wait. You're done. You can tell you're done by this little green check mark. And where is this new file that you saved? It's where you told it to go. So mine is with my source file because that's what I picked. And you can see that the WAV file is a lot bigger than the WMA. That's because the WAV is uncompressed the WMA is compressed. This is a tutorial by Mindy McAdams. I work at the University of Florida, and thanks for listening.